hit. Alright guys, so last week this car popped up on our radar on Facebook. It's a Rentec E60, very very rare build of course and it actually belonged to the CEO of Walmart. It was actually for sale for very cheap and um, we actually had to pick it up ASAP so we sent our guy Julio out there, we sent him on a flight, he flew out to Virginia, he drove about an hour and a half, two hours, met the guy with cash money, we picked it up and then here it is guys, in the flesh. It needs paint, it needs work, but it's an E60 and we got it for next to nothing. Now it's at the Patina Collective. Let's go. Man, full Rentec build, man, all the way down Everything to the pipes. Rentec. That's how you know it's official, right? This car was found in a storage locker. The guy paid 500 bucks. He thought he was gonna get some fucking skates, some skateboards. Maybe some boxing gloves or some shit. Yeah. Ended up with a Rentec E60. Didn't know what he had. Put it up for sale. For I did not negotiate. We sent the boy who we out there with a bag of money. And we got it, man. When we bought this car, the only thing we really cared about is this right here. So this is everything. This is an actual real 6.0 Rentec with the carbon fiber cover. You see the intakes right here. Obviously everything is fucked up, it's old, everything's brittle. Nobody cared for this car, it was left to die, just like a lot of these classic Benzes, but we're here to revive him, it's the Patina boys, man. This is no game. My mans ain't even know what he had sitting in his driveway know. for so long. So I'm about long. to hit him back, because he was giving me a hard time, he wouldn't give me his phone number, he wouldn't give me any information, I had to talk to him through Facebook, even all the way till he got there, you know what I mean? But yeah. after we got the car, I'm gonna let him know, hey, about 60 70 thousand for this car right here Black i Black. wanted to drop the bomb but i had to uh, keep it on the tuck you know gotta keep it on hush hush. Know, like, hey, thank you for the layup all right yes sir if it's actually fun to get cars that come like this because it's more of a challenge and it's more of a journey and then we can put our finishing touch on it and it feels more a part of the family than something that was already done up somewhere else you know the interior is all ripped up you know I mean? the steering wheel is rare this is a custom steering wheel. This has leather and wood right here. Look at this, which you don't see often, this type of setup. But yeah, this whole interior is going to have to get redone. Um, it definitely needs a lot of love. It made it to the kingdom. That's all that matters. As long as, long as it makes it to the kingdom, the car has hope. So shout out to all my Florida boys out there, Rentec, Florida company. They always show us love. And this car will be there and we'll get a full makeover. Shout out to them. Yo. Sick, bro. It's fast, too. Damn, the speakers. Right? Driving the Kugok, pulled up to Lewis's, we dropped out the E60 Rentec. Julio made sure to grab this car from Virginia and he saw it all the way through to get it to Lewis yes. to get it right. So shout out to my dog, Julio, man. I mean, taking flights, never catching feelings, only catching flights. You know what it is. Let's go. Where are we headed to? Now we're going to the stadium, dropping this off. It doesn't stop, guys. We just keep them rotating, keep them coming. So a few episodes ago, we moved all those cars to Stewart's. We got eight big bodies out of there, made room for more cars. Biggie got it wrong. It's not more money, more problems. More Benzes, more problems, guys. For real. How's the drive, Julio? Good. Obviously, it has an exhaust leak, so it's very loud, but it's fast. People loved it. Everybody was looking. Guy stopped at the light, and he loved the car, but it drove smooth. It was great. Yeah, it was loud. Yeah, you heard it, right? Yeah, yeah. From far, it sounded like a truck almost. The guy, Anthony, in Germany, he helped us get this car right before it came out here, but obviously something went wrong when we were shipping it, and the exhaust got clipped, and it came out of place, so now it's making mad noise. Shout out to Anthony, man. He got this car right. It's beautiful. Kukok. Biggest. 
All right, guys. So now we're about to do some reels for the IG once again. Every week, every Monday, we're gonna do this to get all the footage right for the whole week. We got Julio right now on the Kubuk. Let's go do this. Taking out this Brabus W124 60 nasty. We came out to the beach. We came to do some reels or whatever with the Brabus. And as soon as we get here, pull up to start shooting. Car cuts off. Try to jump it. Battery doesn't want to start. So right now we're just waiting on uh, Vico to come back with another jump pack and some cables so we can get it back to the warehouse. And yeah, this is what happens guys. These cars, they're beautiful, but they're tricky. They're temperamental. You never know what you're gonna get with them. They're old, but we, that's why we, we gotta take them out more often, get them warmed up, keep them driving, so this doesn't happen as often. This happens because they be sitting, so it's like, that's why we try to get them in rotation with the reels and all that. All things hip. We always find a way guys, no matter what comes across us, whatever problems, breakdowns, we always make it. God, thank God, you know what I'm saying, I'm doing a lot, <laughs> all that, you know what I'm saying. Alright guys, back in the kingdom, back at the showroom right now, we dropped off um, the Brabus. It actually died on us, dead batteries, it's our, part of our life at this point. So it is what it is, Brabus boys. Alright guys, we're about to go right now in the wide body Brabus R129 with my dog Bruno. I mean, he's gonna make a guest appearance in this reel. We're gonna go cruise around the kingdom and get some cool shots for y'all. Let's do this. questions about the spin tail. It's been acting a little rough lately. It's been acting up a little bit. Let's see what's going on. Alright guys, we're gonna buy a Lewis. See maybe you can play with the eye a little bit. It's not that much. The problem is you started touching it and then you get it screwed. That's so, why I... Yeah. Last time when you played with it, it was better. Yeah. You think maybe what you did got back, went back? Hey, maybe. You want to check out if you have a minute, whatever you have a second? Uh, right now, kind of. Okay, tomorrow? Tomorrow. Please. Thank you. Driving good right now. She's a moody one. Alright boys and girls, another day in the kingdom, you already know what it is, Patina Collective man, it's what we do every day. We're pulling out the most exotic benzes known to man, never seen before in these streets, Florida, United States, Europe, you don't even know, you've never seen them before, Japan, we're bringing out the unicorns guys. So every every Monday, we're bringing the cars out, we're doing reels, we're updating the social media, we're going crazy. I got my guy Tomas, shout out to Tomas, he's going ballistic, he gets the electric board out, he's doing all types of moves, maneuvers between the traffic, he's going buck. So, Tina boys, it's what we do, we do it for y'all. It's the biggest ever. Let's go. Alright guys, took a little trip to LA, to California. See what it's all about. Meet with some key people over at some museums and also meet with some of our contacts out there. And just overall taking the scene. Didn't tell many people I was going out there because, well, it's LA and you know. I don't want many, many people to know I'm out there, but next time we come out there, we'll say what's up. We're gonna do our car show out there. We're gonna try to hook something up great for y'all. But uh, let's talk a little bit about the trip. So what was amazing is that when we first got uh, to California, I was able to uh, get my hands on a W108, a beautiful classic, classic beautiful car. Uh, it ran fantastic. It was a 4.5 liter engine, so it had a little more power uh, than the 280s. And really uh, just drove that thing around the entire time. I drove about 500 miles that weekend and it was tremendous, and it was really a great, a great treat to kind of drive those old school cars around California. The 
Peterson Museum is one of the largest car museums in the United States, but perhaps the most prestigious in terms of showing newer cars, supercars, and cutting edge racing uh, displays, as well as some cool art installations. There was an amazing installation featuring cast molds of cars inserted with crystals and all sorts of precious metals. It was almost like a decaying type of feel. It was really dope. I had, a I had the pleasure of meeting a lot of the staff there and also taking a tour, not just of the supercars that were on hand and all the displays, but also getting to go into the vault. Out of the Peterson, I'm gonna check out the vault. See if any Benz is down there. Throughout the entire museum was actually kind of disappointing. I only saw two Benzes uh, out of hundreds of cars. But when I got to the vault, I saw two more. One was uh, a 300 SL Gullwing, of course, which is a, a critical piece for a lot of these more traditional museums to have, uh, a design element that's really a special car. Uh, and also another one that was a really amazing car was the former uh, Mercedes 600 Pullman that was made for Saddam Hussein. So it actually has running boards on the sides you could hop on, and this was Saddam Hussein's car. Well, the cool story behind this one was that in Iraq, during the fall of Iraq, um, someone actually took this car, drove it out across the border, and ditched it in a neighboring country. And then it was finally found, um, and someone had just stolen it again, taken it again, and then ditched it outside a Mercedes dealership there. So all these cars have crazy stories. It was cool to see that Peterson has something like that we'd be into, which is that really crazy dictator type of car. So it was dope seeing that car in, in the Peterson vault. Yo guys, we're out here. It's Los Angeles. Now listen, this city has gone a little crazy the past few years. COVID, homeless, violence, but two great things out here. Three, the people, the produce, and the cars. So let's check out what's going on. I'm here in the 72 representing out here in the 4.5 pushing it hard we're gonna go hit a couple car shows we're gonna go see my boy esta hopefully hook up my boy jaleel and uh if not see some dope cars out there the peterson was cool yesterday but today it's gonna be out in the streets so let's make it happen <laughs> you go to bed late you wake up late people in LA get ready and go to car shows at 5 a.m. 6 a.m. the car show opens at 7 they have to get there for parking at 6 30 it's crazy but got up early went over to Long Beach hangar LBX um, it was a dope car show there it was pretty you know pretty open a lot of JDM stuff it was sponsored by Formula Drift had a chance to see some dope Benz's there uh, link up with my boy Esta a couple other guys the Benz crew like Ken what's up guys um, and they're tied into the scene there with some nice pre-mergers. Yeah, respect the visibility. You guys know I'm not a big Lambo guy, but it's pretty cool. Alright guys, one thing we don't have a lot of in the museum right now in the collection is the Wise Tech. Cars that are modified like this one. It's that JDM Euro look. It's been big and bigger out here in Cali. So, I don't know, I think we got to bring over a couple like this. I'm going to shout out this homie here, because respect to this whip. Wide body. What's your wide body count? I might pull up in a coupe, you can't pronounce Kunik special. What's your wide body count? Sh a couple of haroms. You got the V8 compressor SL55. E class wagon. AMG. The back looks way different than mine, though. Might have an extra lip, and also they might not have the lowering kit. Bad respect, wide body. You're talking about a California Benz, and what a California Benz is. It's a good example of it. Big boy, nasty. Too nasty, this is too nasty. The West Coast has definite flares when it comes to tuning cars compared to other guys, uh, but out there, and that show, they really was a JDM show, so it was cool to see people take a JDM look to some of these Benzes, similar to the SL55 Tangerine Dream we got going on. All in all, LA car scene super nice. People are super chill. So after the car show there in Long Beach, you know, me and some of the guys were like, hey, let's go over and pull up to Mercedes-Benz Classic. It was a Sunday, so Mercedes-Benz Classic Center was closed. 
But we pulled up anyway, had our own little, you know, car meet, three, four cars out there, kind of chill out, had some coffee. We're out here in LA, Mercedes Benz Classic Center. Brought a couple whips with us. My boy Esther and Ken had to come roll heavy, show up with that Benz life. Say what up, fellas? Beautiful day out here. Taking them whips out, you know. I think maybe next time we pull up, we should pull up a little heavy. You know, now we check out the scene. Let's show up and try to do something Patina West Coast. So look for a little car show coming out there from us. We may say it's little, but it's not going to be so little. It'll be a good time. So uh, keep your eyes open for Patina West Coast coming. I think art is important because art is inspirational and music is art, art is art, but for us cars are art too. So I said, let me go and now I have my brain stimulated with thoughts of cars in the morning. Let's let me go to the Getty Museum and check it out. Out here at the Getty. I've never been here before. Been to a lot of museums, seen a lot of things, but everyone tells me to come here and check it out. So a very amazing special day to get inspired for the museum. It's a shine on my forehead, but life is good. So guys, I'm out here at the Getty, really being moved by all the art I'm seeing, you know. Out here there's some memorable, memorable things, some timeless art that needs to be treasured forever and ever, and should never be what? Haram, bro. It's haram, bro! So I was able to go check it out, see some amazing art, get some inspiration for the museum, uh, and also just kind of just be inspired in general with life. Because if you're not outside doing something, you're missing out. So get out there, get off the couch, go to a museum, go outside, drive a Benz, be inspired. And that's what we're out here just trying to do. Hi, right, bro, I'm out here in LA. I've stopped at this place here because it said I had burgers. I pull in, it's all vegan. Sat down, I look around, I'm like, oh, this is fucked up, so don't let places fool you. LA, they'll put a sign that says burgers, but they won't have a goddamn piece of meat in them. So stay out there, bitch. I'm about to find some real food. Right, guys, we didn't let the vegans one. Charlie will point me direction to the right place. Look at that. A family growing up food, so we gotta see the right spot. Was able then to link up with our boy Jalil, who's a, a very inspirational artist and well known and becoming uh, more world renowned as time has kind of gone on. We got to sit there, talk about Patina projects, what we're working on, talk about the future of music, AI, and art, a whole bunch of different topics, and of course, Benz's and how much Mercedes has inspired his work and how much uh, you know we're inspired by his work too in terms of what we do here. So it's important, guys, that when you're out in the world and you're working on a project to gain inspiration not just from people who are in your industry but outside your industry and can bring in different visions and voices because that's what's going to make the best most unique thing at the end of the day let me go one more time yo yo we got in the trenches right so we got let's see let's see, the trenches. Let's see. patina west coast coming soon pick it up look at here that's how you know that's how you know look look, look. how you know how you know it's a real artist he's got all this art and then boom that's art too, we know that, right? No, that's, that's, yeah. the, that's cool little original kit right there. We got the one for two, man. Cladding on the way, man. Cladding on the way, let's do it. Let's get it. Oh my God, some unseen. I can't show you all too much about it. I can't show them too much. Say it again. Beavers are haram. Nico, what's good, baby? Patina Collective, West Coast. You see the, you see the coupe? See it, yeah. bro. Yeah. Love that shit, Robbins bro. Wheels, Monoblock 3s. You know too much already, three. bro. Learn from the biggest, man. Yeah, that's how we do it, baby. Learn from the biggest Like the that game. 124. There you go, baby. The next day, decided to take the ride up to Malibu. That's right, Malibu. Drove from LA to Malibu in that car. Um, and to go check out the Getty Villa, which is another beautiful artistic retreat in the mountains and this gorgeous outdoor place. Uh, they used to have tons of parties back in the day. So this is where the rich from LA, the rich from Hollywood, will go to the mountains out here, remote parts in Malibu, and just have crazy wild parties. And uh, amazing seeing the pool and just thinking about the lavish lifestyle that was lived out there. But still, they had, didn't have all the cars that we have now. They don't live this lifestyle we're living here with all these Benzes, but they did pretty good for themselves. It's a place that kept a lot of art. Another place to gain inspiration, just beautiful out there. Hey guys, we're out here at the Getty Villa trying to get some inspiration, you know, and see what's going on out here in California. It's a beautiful place, amazing scene. 
know, amazing piece of art that you just won't find anywhere else. He, he's still there, isn't he? <laughs> Recommend anyone who's in California, check out the Getty properties, the Getty Museum and the Getty Villa, make time out there. So then from Malibu, I was like, all right, let me go check out the Pacific Coast Highway, um, drive out there, uh, started heading down south to go see our boy Slang. He's insane, insane, insane tuner, builder. I mean, what do you say Vico, about Slang? Slang's a legendary guy from the West Coast, man. He does things nobody can do with these Benzes. He takes SLKs and turns them into legendary uh, gull wings, you know, so a uh, very, very legendary guy on the West Coast. He has some crazy stuff out there, man. He had a, uh, a gull wing he was doing, um, a black one. He had a red replica one that he found actually in Boca Raton, doing amazing work. So he found some amazing stuff out there, um, and he's, he's really doing great work. And his craftsmanship is amazing, his teams are amazing. Really can't say enough about the guy. He's some amazing Ferraris uh, too he has there, like some Ferrari replicas he's working on. Some amazing uh, things he's done with like AMGs, the 6x6s. His AMG 6x6 is incredibly well known. S Club LA, big shout out. Um, we're trying to do a little S Club uh, action down here in uh, South Florida too. Always looking to chop it up with our boy. The Marconi Museum uh, was a cool spot. Big up to the Marconi family, Marconi Racing Team for establishing a very imperial museum for what they've, they've done. Um, amazing collection of Ferraris, cars that were rescued from Brunei, other parts of the world, so a lot of respect for the guys over there. I was actually excited when I got to the Marconi Museum because I saw all the different logos of cars in the front of the, of the building, and one was a Benz. But then I go in there, and I only see one Benz. Unacceptable! Definitely a bit different vibe than what we're going for, more of a traditional uh, car museum. One thing I liked about the Marconi too is that they're doing actual car work right there. You can walk up while the mechanics are working, which might be, be annoying for the mechanic. I can't imagine Pierre wanting to be <laughs> in a museum with people coming up to him, hey, what you doing over there? But the guy was actually nice enough uh, to stop for a minute, tell me about some of the issues he's having with a Ferrari engine. Amazing, very high value cars in there. Some one of one stuff from a lot of different places, but he's been in the game for generations. His family's been doing it really for generations. So they got a good jump start in us. So we came in heavy with the Benzes, but it's not a competition. It's always us seeing what other guys are doing, learning from them, learned a lot from that trip. So all the inspiration is leading into what we're doing here with Patina. So thank you so much for teaching us all this along the way. Trip ends here guys, 500 miles in a weekend with this thing, ran great, bulletproof, get yourself a W108, amazing. Amazing trip to California, we're going to do big things next time, we kind of primed it, we see what's out there, we talked to some people on the street, we have some more connections now, we're going to do some really cool stuff out there, maybe bring, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight cars for a car show. You know, check us out when we come out the different things. So keep posted, see what's up. Vico and I are about to show up heavy to every coast, every spot, every town. You know what? If we can't show up, you got to show up for us because you're part of the team too. So big up out there, Patina Collective.